largest steam locomotive that our founder had restored for his Ohio Central Railroad. But as you can imagine, this one did not head up the piddly uh, regular excursion trains between Sugar Creek and Baltic running at 15 to 25 miles an hour. This was a gross misuse of this engine's power and its speed. This engine was brought out for special photo charters and longer excursions, and it may not be the longest, heaviest, or strongest engine that we have, but it is the fastest. We obviously have no idea how fast this engine could ultimately go. It has the tallest diameter driving wheels in our collection at 73 inches tall. Tacking on 10% to that, we're looking at an assumed top speed of 80 miles an hour. However, I have three stories. The first story comes from retired engineers from the Grand Trunk Western Railroad, who in speaking to our locomotive crews, uh, attested that they did not feel comfortable operating this class of locomotive much faster than 90, so you can at least hit that. <laughs> our second story comes from one of our museum board members who found evidence of a sister to this locomotive operating at a speed of 106 and a half miles an hour. The third story comes from one of our other tour guides who heard it from the last voting board member of the original restoration group who tried to fix this thing up when it was on display in Battle Creek, Michigan, who heard it from the retired engineer of this one who happened to be his neighbor. You still with me? Yeah. He apparently said that he was able to get this particular locomotive up to 113 miles an hour. I have found no official documentation for either of those three claims, so the short answer to my very long-winded story is we don't know how fast this thing can go. It is certainly the fastest steam engine in our collection. I don't see anything uh, that we could potentially acquire new for the collection beating that. Um, and it is in good mechanical condition. It needs the boiler ultrasounded as well as some minor mechanical work done to it to bring it back to operational condition. And as of right now, with the modest uh, operations that we can do on our museum property, uh, this just, there's no call for anything this big right now. Yeah. So hopefully, um, when we get some more things figured out in the future, hopefully this thing will see its time in the shop to be fully restored where we can take it somewhere else. Uh, to help run excursions for another operation, maybe the Cuyahoga Valley, maybe we can take it out on the main line somewhere. I don't know.